yourself. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Modded Minecraft. This is episode 3 and my name of course is System Z and today we are going to be playing around with Industrial Craft 2 and there is a cricket hopping around in front of my face. <laughs> Look at him. He's just dancing around. They're so annoying though. They're everywhere. And thanks to you guys I now know why there's blood in my uh, smelter here. Speaking of the smelter, where is... Oh, okay, that, that was pretty creepy. You guys saw that there was nothing in there, and now there's all of a sudden everything in there. Um, and there's a little bit more blood in there now, but that's why there's blood, is because of the crickets. <laughs> but anyways, guys, and we're missing a lot of stuff here. It seems there's some weird visual errors going on. Um, and texture differences. What's going on? This, These look a little weird. I have a feeling this shader pack is throwing things off a bit, unless that's how it originally looked. I did add a few mods though, I will be honest. Looks like the shader pack has nothing to do with it. But yeah, I did add a few mods, so maybe these blocks are just going to look different anyways. I don't know, I'll look into that, but for the most part everything looks the same, except for this missing block. But what I'm doing is trying to get some more copper, I don't know why that just turned off. Um, because we're going to be doing, as I said, industrial craft stuff. I said doing weird just then. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much for all your support on these episodes lately. I'm very excited to see how far along we go with this particular series. Uh, just because you guys seem very enthusiastic about it. And uh, look at them. They go. Look at that freaking cricket. Poisoning the bloodstream. Well, not the bloodstream, but poisoning the stream with blood. That's, <laughs> that's the way to say it. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a few things we've got to do in order to successfully get started with industrial craft. And one of those things is first, we're going to have to make some uh, tools, really. Actually, we're going to have to go get some rubber first. What am I doing? Uh, we're going to do that, throw those in there. And I probably ought to add more copper. So let's go ahead and get nine copper out. As you can see, I've got tons of resources now. I've been doing a lot of resource gathering. Um, okay, so we're going to need a little bit of wood. We're going to make a tap to start with. So I've got that now. I'm going to run over here in this direction, but first we're going to go ahead and just throw this copper in here. Uh, but we're going to run over to some rubber trees. That way we can start getting some rubber. I hope that thing doesn't overflow. I really need to expand it, but I honestly don't know how. <laughs> uh, but I'm not really worried about it for now, just because we've got a good amount of tools so far. At least enough to play around with. But anyways, there are some... Oh, this is some interesting material. What is that? I haven't seen that yet. Uh, I don't know. How to, I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try, given my track record of pronunciation errors. I'm just not good at talking, so let's just avoid even trying to say that word. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, I hadn't seen it before. But anyways, yeah, there's some rubber trees right over there, as you can see. Uh, if you don't know already, the way you can always tell is if they have a pointy top, and those have a pointy top, so those therefore are rubber trees. There's also some copper, I presume. No, it's tin. Gravel ore, but we'll grab those. I don't know if you have to smelt these. That's what I'm assuming, uh, which is kind of odd, but whatever. Uh, the more the merrier. Okay, so these are the rubber trees, and you can see a little bit of rubber just kind of peeking out the side there. If I right-click that with this tree tap, uh, it'll make some weird noises, but we'll get tree taps, or, well, rubber. No, sticky resin, which if we... Uh, cook in a smelter then we can get uh, rubber <laughs> I think that's how it works now I've got to chop a few of these down just so that way we can uh, hopefully get some saplings so that we can move these and start growing more of them because they are pretty rare I think uh, but I'm gonna use my lumber axe just to chop it down oh that didn't work huh. maybe because of that I don't know and our tree tap is already almost gone <laughs> Luckily, we've got eight of these so far, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, wait for these to produce some saplings. I'm going to try and get some more resin because I know there's some on this tree. I'm pretty sure, unless it's this tree, unless it's like random, because I'm pretty sure when I was checking it out earlier, I saw some on this one. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get a few things collected, and we are going to continue on with the mod. And there we go, I am smelting the sticky resin, as you can see, and it's giving me rubber. Now, there is a way to do it to the rubber wood and extract resin from it at a better speed, but I don't know how to do that, truth be told. I think it's like an extractor or something. Uh, yeah, an extractor 
which seems to be a pretty cheap device. I'm assuming that this would allow us to do it. We would just have to have some sort of power. Uh, and I need to make all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to make that I, truth be told, don't know how to make at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and take this rubber, and we're going to start today with this mod by making uh, the, what's it called, macerator? Yeah, macerator. So this is what we're working with today. We're going to need flint, cobble, a basic machine casing, and then an electric circuit. Now this electric circuit is going to be really what's most uh, required, and this is pretty cheap if you ask me, but we've got to make these uh, copper plates, which we need these cutters for. So we're going to have to do a few things. I know that I have pretty much everything I'm going to need, I hope anyways, um, but at the same time, we're probably going to have to at least smelt some more of this iron, which I really should be throwing in the uh, in the uh, smelter over there because it would double it, but that's what this macerator is going to do, so that's kind of why I'm waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna first go in here and just make, I believe we're gonna need three of these. And then we're gonna need some more iron, so let's grab that. And then if we do that design, we should be able to make a pair of cutters. Yeah, cutter. And now if we grab our copper, which I've thrown in here, and then go back to the, uh, well, really, we could do it here. Get our cutter, that, or not. No, 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 we gotta get the forge plate. To make some of these so we're gonna need let's see we're gonna need six of these which requires one each okay that's not gonna be bad so we're basically only gonna need to do six of them then right so one two three four five six all right now if we do that we can split it all oh it gives us two so we really only had to do three uh we'll do them all just so we can have them that way it won't be that bad. So now if we do that, we should be able to make six cables, but let's just <laughs> make nine of them. Why not? Okay, so now we have the cables. What else do we need to make just the electronic circuit? It's so expensive. Just a little bit of redstone. So we're, we're getting pretty close to having our first industrial craft item. We're going to have to make one plate. Uh, and then redstone, I believe, was all that was left. And I should have some in here. So if we do that on both sides, and then the iron plate. And then just throw these in the middle. We'll have an electric circuit, just like that. And then we're going to have to get four cobble, I believe. So one, two, three, four. And then flint. Now, this is the thing I'm a little scared about. Oh, no, we've got plenty of that. So now, if I click on that and then shift click that. Nope, wrong. Uh, no, we've got to make that first. Right. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more iron, but we should still be good. Nonetheless, let's just make a load of them. Do that again, and then if I right click that is that how it works or do that no there's a way to make it so that it automatically gets everything i'm still not done that's right i'm gonna make that i'm jumping ahead of myself now if i do that really no we have everything it should allow us to i mean that works i'm just being lazy at this point but there's a way to make it so that you can automatically craft it but i guess i'm not able to do it uh I don't know. I'll have to check the comments again because someone was awesome enough to tell me. I just <laughs> seem to have forgotten. But if we do that, then we'll be able to make the macerator, which requires power. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. But uh, using this, once we power the device, we can duplicate ore. Basically, it'll crush it and then output uh, two crushed like ore based on the ore. So if we do iron ore, it'll create two crushed ore essentially I believe it's crushed yeah so crushed iron ore and then that like since it'll give us two each one produces one ingot when smelted so it's basically just like the smelter just on a different mod so I guess the next thing to do is to figure out how in the world we're gonna power this thing now solar panels are nice but they're also extremely expensive <laughs> Uh, so, well, I think they are anyways. It just requires a generator, which I guess a generator would be pretty easy, I think. Um, but then again, there's all of this, and we don't, we have 10. So I've got a lot of preparing to do, I think, to even get close to anything. But I'm going to have to look into power sources, I think, uh, which maybe this will help with. I mean, we've got the cable, so that's good. Uh, generator's obviously going to make power for us. And then there's, you know, water mills and whatnot, which may be good. I just need to figure out how to make this stuff and just like how to use it <laughs> entirely. So just kind of looking around. Um, 
not really seeing much that we could use. Recycler, no. Actually, does that... No, that doesn't output power. Uh, there's plenty of things that we could do. I just... I'm noob. <laughs> I am a noob. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go through the wiki and just try and figure out where in the world to go with next. I mean, I know what to do. I know how to get this thing to work. I've just only done it in creative, so... The fact that I don't have solar panels is kind of making this a little hard. So we're going to figure out what to do next, and I will be right back. Guys, I am in way over my head right now. <laughs> okay, so now this has been powered, so there's really no reason to connect it to this generator. But I'm going to do it anyways, and let's hope that it doesn't explode anything. So what I should do... Okay, that's draining battery, and that's filling it up. Wait. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> Let me rewind here. I've been glued to the Wikipedia page for industrial craft reading about power And so we've gotten this generator as well as an RE battery, which is a rechargeable battery Now if we throw in some burnable like fuel or well resources So like wood then it'll power this which is powering this bat box, which is then powering this macerator so now we can use that. Originally, I thought we needed all of this, but I guess not. Really, theoretically, we could have just powered this with the batteries, but at least in this way, we're able to do that. Now, from what I tried, I wasn't able to directly connect these two together, so I'm assuming this is some sort of uh, regulator, almost, or maybe... No, because there are transformers, and transformers are for that, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe these are just to upgrade the wire. That's most likely it, because from what I remember, it blows up if you <laughs> try and connect different wires. But, uh, yeah, do I have any more coal? I don't. Coal is definitely something we're going to need a lot more of, because I am I am definitely low here. But I'm going to grab those, and we're just going to kind of, we're going to test something. So, if I throw this resource in here, then that will start to kind of cook it. And what this should do is create some sort of dust. From what I like remember uh, and from what I've cheated with because <laughs> the recipes are all right here so I can get this coal dust which if you look here is a main ingredient for the solar panel and the solar panel can allow us to power everything without having to worry about using coal which is pretty important at the moment oh give me that back I needed all that <laughs> um, so now we've got two of that I need I'm not sure how much of it I need uh, actually I do know I need three so I've got the glass already. The only thing I'm short on is one more electric circuit. We're also gonna need to make another generator. So let's grab these. I'm a little messy at the moment. I feel like a mad scientist. I I'm like Rick Sanchez right now. You guys know who that is. I'm Rick and Morty, if you don't watch that show, well, first of all, you know, if you're the right age, you should watch it. Otherwise, if you're a young and don't watch it, <laughs> But if you do watch it, you know it's a funny show, hilarious. But anyways, I feel like a mad scientist right now because this stuff is just crazy. So let's just throw this generator here. Now I've just got to make one more electric circuit. But if we come over here before we do that and just throw, for example, some tin ore here, you'll see that as it's cooking it, it should, in theory, create a crushed tin ore, which if it burns through one, should create two. So you'll see now, yeah, there we go. We've got two crushed tin ore, and then three tin ore still left. For two, it should have been two, but you'll see it basically duplicated it. So if we run over here, throw that in there, cook it, then that will basically each one equivalent or is equivalent to one ingot. So it's essentially just like using the smelter, just different and a little bit easier in some sense. Uh, plus, we can automate this a little bit better. So this is going to be really, really fun. Uh, but before I end off the episode, because, you know, these episodes are just so easy to run out of time with. There's just so much to do. <laughs> okay, we're almost done with that. We just got to make one more of these solar panels, which I'm going to need a lot more rubber for. Now, fortunately, we have uh, a lot of rubber trees. The only main problem is that it's, it's very easy to burn through it all. <laughs> And they don't really give enough to where I can just sit here and show you guys. Well, then again, there's all these. I don't know. We'll see if we can get enough. Right now, though, it's been very hard to get enough to make anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Perfect. Okay, so if we run over here then, cook this up. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that duplicated it. I hope. hope it did. 
we're going to throw that in there so we can get all these. And we're going to make, uh, let's see, first thing we're going to have to do is get the cutters. And then we're going to have to do that because we're going to need about six wires. So we're going to need more rubber. And we'll do all that. And I still haven't figured out how to like auto craft, by the way. <laughs> I tried to find the comment that suggested it, but I couldn't find it. So that was fun. All right, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and see what this is going to require. It's going to require one iron plate, which we can make. We don't have, but we can make it pretty easily. I had to make a new uh, four tamer too because it went away. I used it all. <laughs> all right, this uh, should be close to the last one, so we'll do that. Boom, and then one more, and then we'll be good to go. Now, I realize this is a bit of an old mod. I'm not sure if a lot of people really use Industrial Craft anymore, uh, but I really personally like it because, one, I kind of know how to use it. <laughs> uh, let me focus here and figure out how to do this. But uh, what is the new one people use? I forgot. It's like thermal energy or something like that. I actually have that in this mod pack. I added it. So we'll play with that in the future, but... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff out now that I don't know how in the world to use. Okay, so let's just focus here and create this solar panel. Wrong. <laughs> I was hoping I would do it right the first time, but I didn't. Okay, we'll do that. Solar panel. Boom. So now if we just place that somewhere. Um, perhaps we should do it on top of it? No, it probably requires some sort of cable. I'm a little nervous, but we're just going to try this. This could blow everything up, but this is just like a testing round anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. So we're just going to do that to create a little bit more cables. I already had some, I think. <laughs> we're just going to make one more cable. And theoretically, if we just jump up here, this should allow us to get rid of the fact of needing the generator entirely. If we do that and then place the solar panel on top, that should power it on its own. Yeah, look at that. I powered it like instantly. So now if we break it, just as an example, you'll see it instantly rise up. So right now you'll see it's at zero because it doesn't hold anything. But now that we've got that solar panel, just doing that, it instantly, no, not instantly, but you see it's powering it when there's nothing being powered. So we're generating energy and at least it's renewable. So that's, that's the first step. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's really going to do it for today. I've got a lot of stuff to do. And I think next episode, I'd like to work on making some sort of building dedicated to uh, this and build craft. Now, with build craft, I can actually take pipes and we can actually move blocks around, which is cool. Kind of like hoppers, but a little bit better. It's more entertaining, I think. Um, I've just got a lot of organization and resource gathering to do. So maybe we'll actually build a house next episode or like a factory of some sort, just a working space. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get used to everything. <laughs> I haven't even moved from the, the, from the original spot, which is a little sad. We haven't really even explored. Um, but before I end off the episode, I want to let you guys know all the mods that I did add. Uh, and then kind of how you can play this mod pack on your own. Because I know I've been getting a lot of comments regarding how to do that. So before the night ends, or before the day ends, let's go ahead and kind of go through the general stuff that I've added. So I've added the uh, the ship mod. I forgot. Archimedes, something like that. <laughs> the ships, which is cool because you can make like air balloons or boats and all that that actually ride uh, or drive, which is really cool. And then the thermal energy mod or the thermal expansion. Uh, of course, industrial craft, build craft, all that kind of stuff. So just kind of a glimpse. You know, you can pause the video on all of these to see exactly everything I have. But to be honest, the easiest thing for you to do is going to be to download the uh, Life in the Woods Renaissance mod pack and then add a few of the mods that I've added to the mods folder. That's the easiest thing. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end before the nighttime comes. Thank you so much for joining in on this episode. I apologize for it being kind of messy, but this has been a very mad scientist-like episode. <laughs> but we've learned some cool stuff today, and I'm excited for next episode. Anyways, thank you for all the support. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and if you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching.